Hi, my name is Eric Janesko, Exomo Acceleration Head Coach and CEO. Uh, bringing you a quick message from myself and, and all the team here at Maximum Acceleration, we want to help you achieve all the goals and dreams and desires that you have for 2013. So this message is just a very short preview of what you can do to create transformational growth in your business in 2013. Now, this is based on a system we've been perfecting for the, the last eight years and the thousands of clients that we've put through a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. And we've been using it in a workshop and, and, and presentation uh, format this year. It's been working out extremely well. And so I wanted to share this tool with you so you can take these ideas and tools and use them to help you plan to win for 2013. You know, at the end of the day, anytime you want to grow your business or achieve something different in your life, life, you're going to go through three very distinct phases, assessment, planning, and execution. You know, the assessment, where am I, where do I want to go, planning, what are the steps I need to take to get myself there, execution, how do you hold yourself accountable and speed up your progress as you begin to execute that plan. Well, that's the tip that I want to share with you today in this short little 10 to 15 minute video uh, about how you can use these tools and resources that are going to be available to you at the conclusion of the video to help you speed through this process faster and make 2013 a great year. In fact, it, you have the potential to make it your best year ever. You know, at, at the end of the day, though, assessment is about understanding and recognizing where you are. For example, let's say I was looking at a, a at a altitude map. I'm, you know, from a satellite view, uh, looking down. Where am I? Where do I want to go? Let, let's say I'm somewhere here in central Missouri, and I want to get up to the Chicago area to visit family for the holidays or something like that. You know, at the end of the day, I got two very different routes that I can take. One goes through the heart of Hannibal, Missouri, and through the western Illinois. Uh, prairie lands and and it's a beautiful view but it's a slower I mean it's a faster road in all reality but there's a lot of areas where it's spotty cell phone coverage and those kind of things the other option is I can go right through the heart of the busyness of St. Louis and and on up to Chicago now, depending on where I'm going and what time of day, you know, if I'm going during rush hour, I'm going to be sitting in the parking lot in St. Louis. Now, I'm going to have great cell coverage the entire way if I'm trying to, to you know, keep up with contacts and follow up on leads and all that, uh, you know, talk and drive type thing. Uh, versus if I, if I want to just get there quickly and I don't necessarily have to worry about trying to be working while I'm driving, then I can have a much more leisurely and probably much more efficient route if I go through Hannibal and Springfield, Illinois whole point is two routes that get me to the same place. Which one's better for me depends on what my goals are and where I am and where I want to go. Now, the, the next layer down, though, is the tactical turn-by-turn -turn directions. You know, if I leave my house, there's a couple of, of crazy intersections that require some switchbacks. And if I don't know the route, if I was trying to give somebody directions from my house, it's nice to have those really hands-on GPS view turn-by-turn -turn directions that's going to get me there. So what this system is all about is how to help you start at that satellite view and drill all the way down to the turn-by-turn -turn directions using this five-phase process that we call the Power of Transformational Growth System. It starts with the vision in mind. You know, the problem with most planning systems is they, they start very reactively. They start with a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. The problem with that is, is that's taking a look at where you are and reacting to it. That's not taking where you want to be and reverse engineering it. So our goal is to start with the end in mind and create the ultimate vision of success for you in what you want to accomplish in 2013. Then you can't ignore the challenges or obstacles that you're going to face in reaching that vision, but when you have that lens or that focus on that end goal, that end in mind, bigger picture, it makes it a lot easier to see past the obstacles and then the raw material that you find in the challenges that you're going to face become the nuts and bolts of what you need to work with for a practical planning standpoint. You know, the third step in the process is once we've identified what the challenges are, usually there's a pretty direct correlation to a solution to that specific challenge because it's the ebb and flow of life. In the seed of every adversity is opportunity and, and how to take advantage of those opportunities uh, is very easy to recognize when you flip your thinking to the strategy. The third, the fourth step is is actually getting the plan in motion. What are the actual step-by-step -step tasks that need to be accomplished, the action steps that need to be performed to move you in the direction that you want to do strategically. The third, the fifth step is is accelerating your progress growth. It's speeding up. It's learning from your examples and taking on some of the three keys that I'll share with you towards the end of today's program. 
So let's get right into it. You've developed, I've given you some worksheets and tools that you can use uh, that will be attached to this post. Um, uh, you can also, by the way, at the end of the video, I'll give you where you can go to get these tools and resources. But step one is what's your vision? The what's your why worksheet helps you map out what your goals are. What is your, but start with your ultimate vision of success. What does success mean to you personally? What are the things that define it? Not just you know your production volume and your client experience, uh, but also thinking about your contribution to your community, your home, your vacation, your family, and all the other intangibles that come along with the materials and the 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 tactical performance business goals. Also, take a second to clarify what really resonates with you about that. Why is that so important to you? What drives, from a more emotional standpoint? Your, your commitment to following through on those objectives and goals. Then what you want to do is narrow it down to what are the top three. Okay. The next step is then to think about what do you need to fuel it. At the end of the day, business is a numbers game, regardless of whether it's 25 or 100. But if in our business, generally, if you went out and talked to 25 people, you're going to find five people who have a real need. Out of five people, you're going to get two and a half appointments, and it drills it down to where you actually put one new deal on the books. So all you have to do is reverse it backwards. If you need to be doing five deals a week, you need to be talking to 125 people a day, or a week, you know, 25 a day, one new deal a day kind of thing. Uh, so here's some tools that you can use to get to the next level. I've attached, and, and you'll be able to download from the uh, downloads website that I'm going to give you at the end of the video, you'll be able to download some volume and goals worksheets tools. Uh, the first one is a worksheet that's based on annual income targets. What do you actually want to make in 2013 to fuel those goals? And this will give you a weekly minimum activity level target. The second goal, um, the second step in this is the monthly volume goals, which I don't have a screenshot of up for you right now, but the monthly volume goals worksheet allows you to drill it down to where you want to be by the end of the year. What is the, the stretch goal that you're striving towards? You know, maybe it's 20000 a month, maybe it's 100000 a month. Whatever it is, it is attainable, and it is just a matter of systems and resources and how you approach that. So the second step is, what are your obstacles? What are the challenges? What are the things that are going to get in your way? The interesting thing is as you start using this tool to brainstorm out what those challenges are, you'll begin to recognize that a lot of them group into basically one or two or three main obstacles. You don't have enough visibility in your market. You're not generating enough leads. Um, you, you've got operational challenges. You've got all the ability in the world to generate a ton of leads, but you don't have the capacity to handle those leads, and there's a lot of fallout. Um, Operational systems becomes important in that point. Uh, you know, you've got tons of leads, but your conversion ratio is really low, and you really want to improve that conversion ratio because you're only converting, you know, one out of ten or one out of fifteen, and you want to take that up to five out of ten or or, or even beyond. Uh, you know, those challenges can come from a couple of different areas, but as you identify what those are and brainstorm them out, you know, challenge yourself to think about, okay, what else might be a challenge? What else? What else do I need to work on? What else do I need to add into this? And that's where you can outline some of those challenges and get to that next level faster. What you'll find is, is that as you narrow it down, it will it'll, it'll, it'll begin to rise to the surface for you which are the two or three biggest challenges that if you solved those, pretty much everything else would take care of itself. So those are the challenges that you need to drill down on to focus on the mess. The second step is, you know, don't get stuck in the challenges. You know, at the end of the day, we've all had that experience where the car we want or the car we just bought appears to be the only car on the road. Well, it's part of our brain mechanics. It's, it's a part of our brain that filters information and brings to our attention what we're already thinking about. If we're focused on the obstacles and challenges, what are we going to see more of? But if we're focused on the opportunities, what becomes less important? And what are we going to be able to realize faster? and it's those solutions. So what you've got to force yourself to do is recognize that that part of your brain is very mechanical. You can control it. So by forcing yourself to look at the opportunity side of things, the obstacles become less important, but those are the things that we need to think about. So, so for example, think about the solutions when it comes to your business model right now. Who are the people you can help? Who needs you the most? Who stands to benefit? from this unprecedented housing opportunity that we're experiencing with these incredibly low interest rates and good, you know, stable to, to improving property values but somewhat discounted from the peaks of 2006, 2007, 2008. You know, so think about the renters in your community. And, and the, the funny part about this is the people who are most able to benefit 
are least likely to be aware of this opportunity. You know, the person who's been renting the same apartment for three or four or five years paying $1,000 a month, that's $60,000 literally he has thrown down somebody else's toilet versus building twenty dollars to $30,000 equity in a hundred and twenty dollars to $150,000 home, depending on market, down payment, and all those other factors. The second area is, is think about family size. The people who outgrew their house three or four years ago but haven't moved because they're thinking about what it costs them on a monthly basis for the house they bought five years ago when interest rates were 6%. Not what interest rates and payment would cost them in today's money with interest rates in the mid to low threes. You know, and other things that are always going to be there regardless of what happens with interest rates throughout this year. Relocation, stable employee move ups, people buying investment opportunities because real estate is still long term. Typically one of the better investments that you can get. So think about the life events that drive people's needs to change their housing situation. Uh, you know, and there will be some refinance volume, even if interest rates do climb up a little bit. You know, there's going to be people who have got themselves in too much trouble with credit card debt and overloaded. They overspent their income. You know, maybe there is some potential to help them restructure how they manage their behavior and work with them to eliminate some of that debt strategically. Uh, you know, people who have gotten behind on retirement following the myth of conventional wisdom that uh, you need to pay off your house as aggressively as possible and, and at the same point they've been stripping away their biggest single tax deduction during the peak earning years of their lives and losing 20, 30, 40 years worth of compounding interest because they've been in an accelerated mortgage. Maybe it's time to get them to think about or consider the alternatives of more aggressively saving for retirement now while they're at their peak earnings potential and waiting until a little closer to retirement to worry aggressively about paying off the house. You know, maybe it's there's some other lost opportunities or missed opportunities for being able to pick up a second home or investment property. Maybe it's making the home they're in more comfortable and doing some home improvements and, and renovation type stuff. All these things circle around to create a big uh, flow of opportunities for you. So you need to consider what are the key solutions to the challenges that you faced. And some of those solutions come down to this whole idea of getting leads. The whole idea is here, cast a bigger net. Now you guys have heard me do the fishing analogy before, but there's two ways to fish. One is with a rod and reel, the other is with a net. But if you're talking higher volume, bigger poundage of fish in a shorter period of time, how do you help more people? Well, this is where you can start looking at creating joint efforts with colleagues, referral partners, potential business development partners in other areas such as financial planners, CPAs, insurance agents, divorce attorneys, wedding planners, anybody who's involved at a time in people's lives where they're likely to need also some sort of restructuring or adjustment to their housing situation. You know, by leveraging the strengths and assets of those potential business development partners, you're going to be able to create an opportunity to find a need and go on a much bigger scale, cast a much bigger net to help you and your business development partners in 2013 reach out to a, number, a larger group of people. So once you've got some solutions to those specific challenges, here's where you want to brain and storm out the solutions and focus on the top three or four object obstacles that, you that we talked about just a few minutes ago. Then drill it down. What is the one most important solution to implement first? You can always come back to this tool later in the year and re, you know, restage and redevelop. Um, it might not be a bad idea to think about the sequence, though, to talk about out of the three primary uh, solutions you want to implement, which one's number one, which one's number two, and which one's number three. Often number two and three support number one. Okay. Then from there, as you start moving into more of a daily or weekly action planning, that's where you go into the three S's of success. You go back through this cycle of assessment planning and execution on a smaller scale, a monthly or weekly goals focus. Um, and that's where you want to drill down on a specific objective. What are the specific action steps that need to be taken to implement those ideas? And that's what this next worksheet helps you with. This one's actually two pages. Um, by the way, there's a bonus step in here, which is how do you create accountability for yourself? So let me skip through a couple of things just in the interest of time. I want to make sure I keep this very short and under 15 minute video. There's a lot of tools and resources that we can help you uh, with that are available to you. At the end of the day, the tools and implementation that we want to offer you is the ability to create a faster path to growth. And so 
couple of things to think about as we move forward into 2013. Uh, by the way, there's a cool tool and resource that you'll have access to. If you want to look at how to do these functions in a smaller scale and break this down, um, we're doing a, a, a two-hour uh, web shop program where we're going to be brainstorming with, with Greg Frost, myself, and Renee Rodriguez walking you through in a lot more detail how to do this. Come join us Thursday, January 10th, 2013. Go to www.mxlcoach.com slash webinars and you can sign up and register to join us for this free informational webinar Thursday, January 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central, 12 Mountain, 11 Pacific for this free webinar. Come join us and we'll walk you through in more detail how to use some of these tools and resources uh, to better yourself. By the way, there's no cost or obligation for this webinar. It's simply something that we wanted to offer to our community and to our industry as a way of giving something back because 2012 has been an incredible year for us. We've experienced significant growth. If you are serious about taking this to a much a deeper level faster and you'd like some specific guidance and one-on-one -on -one support, certainly reach out to us for what we call our strategy session. There's no cost or obligation for the program. It's a one-hour detailed program where you and your coach will dr dig into your specific obstacles and solutions to those challenges to help you create a personal growth plan for 2013. There's no cost or obligation. It's just simply the best way we've found to help you experience and understand the value of coaching and let you make an informed decision from there as to if and when it makes sense for you to pursue, proceed with it. Otherwise, take the ideas and thoughts in this. Go to the website, download the free tools. By the way, where you can get the free tools is www.mxlcoach.com slash solution is where you can go to get this free tool. And this will be posted in the session notes uh, as to get the free tools from today's video. So if you're interested in the webinar, go to www.mxlcoach.com slash webinar. If you'd like the free strategy session, go to www.mxlcoach.com slash strategy. And if you would like the uh, to download the free tools and resources that I've mentioned to you in today's video, go to www.mxlcoach.com slash solution. Otherwise, on behalf of myself and the rest of the team here at Maximum Acceleration, we want to wish you all the happiest of holidays, merriest of Christmases, and hoping you all the, the most prosperous of New Year's and helping you make 2013 your best year ever in this industry. We wish you all the best. Take a great holiday season and make it a great year. To your success.